that looks good. We have, good, we have great lighting right now from the Crystal Palace. So we decided, even though the park closes in an hour and five minutes, that we'd come to Magic Kingdom. Sarah nabbed somehow. What'd you get? Peter Pan, a, and Peter Pan and a Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Pirates, but we, lost we lost that, and we're not going to do the Peter Pan because we've been going on it. We're going to go see if we can get on Jungle Cruise. It's still Peter Pan. But then we're just going to. Oh, it's yeah. like a, it came out to be a beautiful night. It was 80 for the first time in like two weeks, or more than that. Yeah. But it was 80 degrees today, but it dropped. It sounded like 65. So we're going to have a nice night at Magic Kingdom, and then I'm going to go run at Grand Floridian. And I'm going to chill. She's going to relax, She's got a vacation drink. Dreams do come true in New Orleans. In the, in the Conga? In the Conga. We got a 10 minute standby line for Jungle Cruise. We haven't been on this since it got de jingle fied, right? It's together a little party for all of you. If you don't mind. It's on the beach, so it should be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to I don't see anyone, Canoe. How did you land your position as a skipper and a well-explained to see? I took the crash course. <laughs> yeah, but that's just the challenge of my story now. I'm just winging it now. We just saw a haunted rocking chair. We did, and it wasn't in, in this land, so it makes it even spooky. <laughs> Your cadaverous pal betrays an aura of foreboding. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. Even though everybody who's staying gets to just eat a bunch of good food. There's an after hours event. Peter did a podcast about the after hours event. Go to Pag. What's it called? Park for podcast. Wow. It's linked in the description below. I almost just said podcast first. Also, there's a bunch of like spirit and cheer teams here right now. Over taken. But anyway, we're going to go back to the resort and take a moat. Peter's oh, gonna yeah. run. I don't run. want to. We just want the free food. Well, it's not free, but infinite. Infinite food.
please do not mind my glisten. But also, please let me know if you were staying at the Grand Floridian when you were watching this last night. Because Sarah was supposed to read. She wasn't supposed to, she was, she was going to read when I went on this run because I was only going to go for a quick 5K. And come back to the Grand Floridian. Someone was snoozing in the lobby. She's she's wow. convinced me it was it was, she it just happened. The book was like in no, her I hand. No, I didn't say it just happened. I said that it wasn't the whole time. Oh. I had I had read, and it was just so soothing, and it was cold in there, and I was just like snuggled up. So it is time to go. I actually home. think I saw a couple looking at me. <laughs> she's so goofy, and she's got to be safe. I was safe. Well, it wouldn't hurt me. True, true. Well, we gotta go home and see Eve, and I have to take care of this. Mm -hmm. Look at these two pumpkins. We're home. I'm all fresh and clean. Me too. But I want to show you something that I just freaked out about. Look at. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. <gasps> Yeah, I love the music. I love everything about this. I can't believe it. So this came out in 2001. It came out 17 years ago. I can't believe this came out 17 years ago. This was like my first... This was like my first big, like, series I was fully vested in. I watched all of it. What they call, like, fandom? Yeah, it was like my first fandom. Like, I have all... I have almost the... I'm missing, like, two books, but I have the complete history of the Middle Earth. Um... I saw all the movies in theaters. I have the Blu-rays, extended, uncut, theatrical. Even had a ring. I did even have a, like a replica of the ring from it. I had a couple other like, like, like replica things from the movies. Oh, no. But we're gonna watch a little bit of this before we go to bed. Oh, it's late again, midnight. But we forgot that like this whole time we'd been like waiting to look up to see when the opening ceremony was of the Olympics and everything is where you love the Olympics. Forgot that there's like a huge time difference between us and South Korea. So the opening ceremony is actually in six hours. So we need to get up at 6 a.m. Hopefully we do. <laughs> that's been like the time we're supposed to wake up for like the rest of the week, and we haven't been waking Every up at day, that time. That's when we usually wake up. No, we usually wake up like 40 minutes later. Because then I'm like we scrambling. We should wake up at six. That's yeah. The first. <laughs> yeah. So wish us luck. Um, Either way, it'll still be online after. I just love the opening ceremony. It's super fun. And now that like, the opening ceremony is not at night, we have to figure out what we want to do tomorrow. Yeah. So. Gem Sessions is in town. Um, there's a handful of other people, too. Mm -hmm. we have a, this is like the beginning. Tomorrow is like the beginning of like a very busy like month. Visitors. Like a month, at least, of visitors. But Eve's like <laughs> crying over there waiting to go to bed. So. Thank you for following along with our adventures. Give us that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I love whenever like Sarah replies or I'll reply at a break at work to the, to the comments. We try to do all of them. I think we do a good job at doing almost yeah. all the comments. So be sure to leave a comment. Leave a comment. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.